Hey guys, a couple things before we get started. First of all, I've been blowing my nose like crazy and during the filming of this video, a scab on my nose decided to start bleeding and every time I tried to wipe it off, it would just bleed more. So if you see a big red spot on my nose, that is what it is. Also, I had to refilm some of these product shots because my camera was being a major asshole and would not focus. So if things are already stained purple or wet or my nails are already painted, that is why I had to go back and refilm them after the fact. So yeah, just wanted to put those couple things out there really quick and let's just go ahead and get into the video. All right, starting off with some gloves, a mixing bowl and a hair color brush, a hair clip, and then for color I'm using Pravana Vivids, the um, Violet and Wild Orchid, and then a conditioner, any conditioner will do. and. I'm just doing my roots today so I'm not mixing as much color and I'm doing about that much violet and then less of the wild orchid and then an equal part of conditioner and then just mix 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 and luckily my hair color is pretty forgiving so I can just kind of slap it on haphazard. I almost forgot my mirror to see the back of my head. So I just kind of, like I said, slap it on pretty messily. I start at the base of the roots and then just kind of work my way down to meet what's already like a brighter purple and I just go in layers because I have a lot of hair. So yeah, just keep slapping it on. And the reason I'm doing my hair color first is because I will get it on myself and if I done myself tan, I would just be scrubbing it off basically. So doing this first to save myself the hassle. And I make sure to really get like the top and the fronts because that's what's going to be seen the most and then I will just leave a little bit of color in the dish so that I can kind of go back through and touch up any spots that I might have missed and I alternate with my hair sometimes I do the whole head sometimes I do just my roots maybe some of the ends sometimes like every I don't know fourth time fifth time I will also lighten it so today like I said it's just my roots and right here you will see exactly why I do my hair color first that is just one of many spots that I got all over me and then I'm doing the bottom because I didn't do that on the first layer so you want to make sure you get it all around you don't want to wear your hair in a ponytail and not do the bottom so make sure it's all good and covered scrub it in with my fingers and make sure I get like the whole front hairline all little baby hairs and then pull it up and I leave mine in for like 45 minutes to an hour and then to clean up my hair color mess on my skin, I'm just taking a makeup wipe and scrubbing it all off. And then while I wait for my hair color, I'm gonna go ahead and whiten my teeth. This is the five minute plus white from Walmart. And these teeth trays are also from Walmart. You get them in the sporting section, you just like put them in hot water and mold them to your teeth. So I'm just putting a strip into each tray. And then I just pop it in and let it sit for five minutes like it says. And then I will just rinse out my mouth and the trays and then once my hair is done processing I will wash it out and I use a purple shampoo and conditioner from Joyco and then while I'm in here I'm gonna go ahead and shave and exfoliate for my self tan just so it has a nice smooth base to go on and I'm using the loving tan two-hour Express in dark and I'm applying that with a mitt and a glove just to protect my hand in case it soaks through shake it up and then Put a pump or two onto the mitt and buff it onto the skin. Just be careful and like lightly go over rougher areas like elbows and knees and things just because it wants to stick a little more to dry your skin. You can also put a little bit of lotion on those areas if you're worried about it. But I'm just going to show you my arms here but I just do the same thing all over my body and let it sit for two hours. And while it sits I'm going to paint my nails and I'm using a base coat these two colors and a top coat and I had a hard time getting a good angle for this but it really doesn't matter because it's just painting nails it's nothing new here and I'm really not good at it so yeah I'm just painting my nails I'm doing them all this like pinky nude color except my ring fingers I am doing in the gold and then the top coat and this is what they look like again not so great at painting nails but that's what it is and then when my tan is done processing I rinse it off I don't use a loofah or anything just a gentle rinse and then lock it in with some moisture I'm using this one but any lotion or body butter will work and then for my hair I'm starting with a heat styling spray because I'm gonna be blow drying it and at this point it's been towel drying for quite a while so it's not like it's soaking wet I spray that all over and then I use this it hair care 12 in 1 leave-in treatment and it says to use a pea size amount but I have a lot of hair so I use more 
and I just work that through my whole head. And then my hair is pretty heavy and flat, so it needs all the help it can get. So I'm using this Briogeo dry blow dry volume spray, something like that, and I just spray that in to my roots before I blow dry. And then I'm just gonna blow dry, nothing new here. I have a lot of hair, so I just flip it any which way I can to get it dry, side to side, upside down. You guys know the drill with that. So just blow dry it until it's all dry and then I'll brush through, make sure there's no tangles, no wet spots, get my part where I want it. And then the last hair product I'm using is an oil or a serum, whatever you want to use. This one's from the nth degree. And I just put a little bit of that in my hand, rub them together, and I run that mostly like on the lower half of my hair, focusing more on the ends, and then whatever's left, run it through the top part just to smooth out any flyaways and make it nice and smooth and shiny. And after that, I am all done. Hair, skin, nails, and even my teeth are all ready for the holidays. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had fun filming it with something different than the typical makeup tutorial. If you guys have any suggestions of other videos you would like to see, please comment them down below. I would love to hear it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.